In ancient China, the lives of concubines were often filled with challenges and hardships. These women were secondary wives or mistresses of wealthy men, and their experiences varied widely depending on the time period and region. It's important to acknowledge that not all Chinese concubines faced the same circumstances, and there were instances where genuine affection existed between the primary wife and concubines. One aspect that was unfortunately common for many Chinese concubines was the lack of autonomy and agency in decision-making. These women typically had little control over their own lives, as their fate was largely determined by the men who owned them. They were subject to the rules and whims of their husbands or masters, and disobedience could lead to severe consequences. Another challenging aspect of being a Chinese concubine was the competition for the affections of the man they served. Jealousies and rivalries between wives and concubines were not uncommon, creating a tense and often hostile living environment. The struggle for favoritism and the desire to bear sons to secure their position in the household added to the emotional toll these women endured. Moreover, the expectations placed on Chinese concubines to produce male heirs were immense. Failure to bear sons could result in a concubine being cast aside or mistreated. This pressure often led to a sense of isolation and despair for those unable to fulfill this crucial role in the family structure. The living conditions for many Chinese concubines were far from luxurious. They often resided in separate quarters, receiving fewer resources and attention than the primary wife. This segregation contributed to a sense of isolation and loneliness, as these women lacked the social support and companionship enjoyed by the primary wives. In addition to the emotional and social challenges, Chinese concubines also faced physical hardships. The expectations for beauty and youth placed upon them were rigorous, and some resorted to extreme measures to meet these standards. Practices such as foot binding, which was considered a symbol of beauty but caused severe physical deformities and pain, were unfortunately prevalent during certain periods. It's crucial to recognize that while some Chinese concubines experienced harsh conditions, there were instances where relationships were more compassionate and supportive. The historical context and cultural norms of the time shaped the experiences of these women, and it's important to approach this topic with a nuanced understanding of the complexities involved. In conclusion, the lives of Chinese concubines were often marked by challenges, ranging from limited autonomy and intense competition to societal expectations and physical hardships. Exploring this historical aspect provides insights into the broader social dynamics of ancient China, shedding light on the diverse experiences of women in different roles within the family structure.